All right, guys. Welcome back to nice Fallout 4. Work. We're in the Institute here. We betrayed Father and made the Battle of Bunker Hill work out more or less in the favor of the uh, Resistance, the Railroad. But he doesn't really fully realize we betrayed him, and now he's, despite being all, all like, You've destroyed your chances! This is supposed to cement your part in the organization, and now you're there'll only be questions or something like that. Now he's all like, hey, let's meet with the the leaders of this place and uh, cement your position. I'm like, wait, what? Oh well. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... well, it's important. Seriously, why am, why am I in meetings for this organization exactly? It's weird. Just because uh, I've barely been here so far and there's no reason to trust me, really. Sean. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... Well, it's important. Are you walking into it or something? Okay, I was like... I saw the waypoint, I thought I was supposed to talk Unit to him. Unit X688 speaks highly of your combat skills. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but... What exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ao has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Um, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence, but there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? <laughs> Just play along? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's all right. I wouldn't expect you to have... The project has been classified from the beginning. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. Right. Such hard times down here. I would never disagree that life in the Institute is better than above ground. We have done much to ensure it. Now, we take things even further. Phase 3 is simply... The activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Nuclear power? That's a disaster waiting to happen. Not in our hands. I assure you this is the answer. This is the future. The reactor is close to ready. But recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to Phase 3, and to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now... There is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please. As I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. 
Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Please, Can't be serious. everyone, please, I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. Why would you joke about this? It isn't funny. Were it a joke, I'd agree it's in poor form. But I'm afraid it's not. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. The well, is my life. there's some interesting twists. Be yours too. Bye. I hope it'll be yours too after I've been named the successor. Well, he didn't exactly talk to me about this in advance, did he? So they're just throwing as many... Like, you, you inherently go into the Institute, no matter who you're working for, under the guise of subverting them in some way. And they make that as complicated and as hard to do as possible by being like, By the way, the leader is your son. By the way, you're, the leader, like, he, he, he thinks he's doing the right thing and he's going to save the world, even though he's kind of, they're all kind of monsters. And by the way, now he's, he's dying. What, are you going to betray your dying son, who just made you the leader of the organization you're trying to betray? And some part of you would probably be like, oh, well, maybe if I take over the organization, maybe I could change things. But I think I've heard from people that even if you take over the whole place, because you kind of end up being, I think you end up being the leader of every organization, no matter what you do. Uh, if you if you side with someone, I think you kind of lead them. Maybe not the brother Brotherhood of Steel, but I don't think you, I don't think you've, I've heard you get to actually make that much decision about what they do. And this place is fucked up, frankly, like pretty fucked up. If you're going to make me the successor, and, let, and, I, and I can do whatever I do, then let me free all of the synths. Huh? I don't get to do that? Then I guess I'm not really in control, huh? But let's see if they just contradict me, and I, maybe I'm, I'm full of shit. Of what we've achieved. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, so let's confirm. <sighs> I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. What would it mean to be in charge? Most divisions of the Institute are fairly autonomous, perfectly capable of functioning without intervention. Where those divisions interact, however, problems can arise. You'd lead the Directorate in setting policy, resolving disputes, and the like. There's no question that some of the Directorate, and the Institute at large, will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead, for all of us. But for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Wait, who's available as my companion? You kind of made that disappear immediately without showing it to me. Oh well. Completed Mankind Redefined. Yeah, I don't know what the pop-up was. It said someone could be my companion. Mass Fusion, speak with Ali Fillmore. You'd think that if they were going to have those kinds of pop-ups show up in scripted, specific moments, that they would very specifically make them not get immediately overridden by another thing before they can be read. Oh well. How are things going with, uh, Underground? Continue working with Father. You really do have to keep going with this whole... Uh, you re even when you're planning on going against them, you really have to keep working for these guys for a pretty long time, don't you? Dr. Fillmore. Busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. What the hell is this operation about? Hey, relax. We wouldn't send you off without the proper information. 
Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the mass fusion building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. Oh man, I have one of those, but it's in my other pants. You wouldn't recognize one if it fell on your head. That's why I'm going to retrieve it. You're going? That complicates things. Not really, no. I admit I'm not fond of going up top, but I promise to stay out of your way. This device we're after? It's very sensitive equipment, and it's pretty damn old. It's not that I don't trust you, it's just that I trust myself more. So, are you gonna put up a stink, or can we get moving? Is that really necessary? I'm sure I can handle this by myself. Yes, it really is. Not only is this tech sensitive, it's old. Look, I'll take care of it. You just make sure I come back in one piece. Sounds good. I'd appreciate the company. Not as much as I'd appreciate coming back in one piece. I don't like going above ground unless there's no other option. But here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you there. Alright, here we go. Hopefully she's... kind of, sort of, powerful or something? Oh god, what if I also inform the Brotherhood? What if I just continually screw these people over, left and right? The problem with the Brotherhood is that they're kind of also the worst, so I don't know if I want to empower- oopsie. I don't know if I want to empower the Brotherhood either. Because they want to wipe out everyone that is like every every super mutant and a ghoul, sure. There's like a there's well actually no there's some there's a couple of not bad super mutants but and a whole lot of not bad ghouls because you know all the talking ones. I just realized that you, I've encountered fewer talking ghouls than I, in this game than I did in most of Fallout Three, huh? They were kind of all over the place back then. Our technology must seem but, uh, by your standards. Obviously, they're, they might be the, they may be the better option compared to the Institute in some ways. I don't know, they might be worse than the Institute. Yeah, I think the Brotherhood of Steel might be worse than the Institute, honestly. Alright, where am I trying to go? Exact- oh, I, I, so I do have to take this ride? Nope, there's- oh, there- wait, is that- Oh, no, they're, they're saying they can go to the Boston airfield to warn them if I want to. They're telling me where my power armor is located. Yeah, relay to mash fusion. So if I just click on this thing, I'm just gonna go to it. How does this thing work? Oh, I'm in the water. Sorry. Button. Hello. Seems to indicate that I have to use this thing, so let's do it. Button. All right, hopefully this takes me to the right spot, or I've made a terrible mistake. Oh no, it's staying down there, isn't it? All right, I went upstairs, we're at the teleporter. And now I just need to use the relay to... Wow, relaying to mass fusion will make you a permanent enemy of the Brotherhood of Steel. Are you willing to proceed? Wow. That's brutal. All right, well, I don't like them, so I guess we'll do... I, I guess we'll commit. You're now enemies with the Brotherhood of Steel. Wow! Those things pop up and they get interrupted so fast. That was two lines of text, just immediately overlapped by quest. Why'd... I'm just baffled they think that's a good idea. They should have made one text... Like, they should have had a feed on the left for quest and a feed on the right side of your screen for those other text things. So that they wouldn't delete each other before they can be read by humans. Oh, I came... They came well, one of them came back. Alright, they showed me the enemy thing again, but I still don't know what the other thing was that it said. Oh, well. I'm sure it wasn't important. Alright, right, well, Paladin Dance is not going to be a fan of mine. So, like... So... My railroad quest is just completely... Like, I can't proceed with a railroad quest until I deal with the Brotherhood of Steel, as far as I can tell. Hello, you. Which is kind of a bummer, so like... That, that, like, this is- apparently this is how I have to proceed, I have to do this stuff? That seems kind of silly. That part of the- that I have to specifically make an enemy, an enemy of the Brotherhood of Steel by working on a, a core? I mean, on a nuclear power plant? 
when I'm trying to side with the railroad, this seems like a weird structure for the story. But yeah, the railroad story is just on pause until I do this, I guess. Alright. Bye. I don't know, the, the st story in this game is strange, isn't it? Oh well. I guess I'm just gonna go shoot some dudes. No big deal. Kinda like these people, but I can't just opt... Unless I miss something, I can't opt to not make them mad at me. Unless I just... Unless I specifically help them, which I also don't want to do. I don't want to help them, so I guess we're just gonna have to commit to doing this. It's a very polarizing game. No sign of the agitator. We'll have to search the rest of the building. Security's too tight. Oh no. Can you do that? Calm down, Noel. You knew that this was coming. I don't understand why you're acting this way. Don't tell me to calm down, Carl. When we started designing the beryllium agitator, you said it would be for the benefit of mankind. Instead, I find out that you have been planning on turning it Let's over the to the military all along. You lied to me. Don't give me that high and mighty attitude. Have you picked up a newspaper lately? There's a war going on out there, Doctor. And if our side's going to win, it needs all the help it can get. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Since when did science start taking sides? What did they promise you, Carl? Money? Political favors? A goddamn medal? That's enough! Like it or not, when the testing cycle is completed, I'm crating up the agitator and sending it off to Washington. Now, you have two choices. Either you can get back to work, or you can get the hell out of my building. Alright. Can I tell you to do the thing? Allie. Well, isn't this fun? Won't be able to hack this. No, tell her to do it. This wasn't really what I planned on doing today. I do the do the thing. This wasn't really what I planned on doing. I can't doing command today. you. All right, but I, I guess the core of my complaint is just that it seems weird that I uh, you don't have the option to. I don't know. It's just the entire game is about scavenging and taking things from this environment in order to survive, while and fighting for any, tooth and nail for any little thing to get by. So, the idea that doing one little mission. To grab a, uh, another piece of technology for any just the simple fact you're doing it for anyone besides the brotherhood instantly means that you're an enemy of them forever seems a little like overly simplistic in a way that's belittling to the characters i wonder if dance is going to be attacking me if i go back to town what is going on here do i security's too good like i can't i can't use this thing does she not does she not know how to use it can she not use computers I'm supposed to use the agitator do I just go, do I go somewhere else? Do I... Oh, password. There we go. There we go. And ID and lock it. Is that all I needed? Add alley. There we go. Here we go. I was worried for a moment there, but yeah, I was, I was trying to tell her to use it, because I'm like, surely computer person, right? I was trying to command her like, an, like a companion, but I guess she doesn't count as one. Personal intramail. We, there we go. As per your instructions, the beryllium agitator has been installed in our primary reactor on sublevel 01. I've been increased. I've also increased security on all of the key readers in the building, so you'll need to your executive key card handy if you want to use any of the elevators. I'd like to go on official record that I am opposed to accelerating this project schedule. I find it disturbing that current events, for example, global unrest, hasn't had an effect on your decision. Well, I realized your recent contact with the U.S. military may be making it difficult to follow a rational course of action. I strongly urge you to reconsider. I thought this is exactly why you left Poseidon, Carl. Let's go back in time. Company Intramail. All employees are invited to the 2077 holiday celebration. We'll be holding the festivities on the roof of our main headquarters this year, so you'll be able to dine with a loved one while overlooking our beautiful city. A full bar and live music will be at on hand, as well as a special fireworks display at 10 p.m. Hope to see you there. Did they all go on the roof and then the bombs went off? That'd be pretty extreme. 
As of this morning, T. Noel Cartridge was escorted from the building and his contact... His contract with the Mass Fusion has been terminated. His terminal's memory has been wiped and all of his research transferred to our mainframe. Dr. Chandrich has been made aware that any attempt to seek employment at a rival nuclear power company will result in a lawsuit. As per his contract, his pension and benefits are now frozen. If there's anything else you need from HR, please let me know. I've been monitoring the reactor for weeks now, and the beryllium agitator is running at peak efficiency. In fact, I've only detected an EM spectrum decay of less than one thousandth of a percent. If you were hoping for a stable plasma reaction, it looks like you found it. Congratulations. Perhaps you and the military should open a bottle of champagne together. Alright, so there's inter-office drama, and they're working on this crazy device, and the world was getting ready to come to an end, and they're ho holding parties and nonsense. I wonder if he was even responsible for in, uh, the change that was made, or if it was the, uh... I wonder if the guy that he, that he, that was, that was fired and removed might have maybe even, maybe even had a hand in, in, uh, fixing it in the first place. Let's go sneaky. Entering sneaky mode. Whoa. Oh, we teleported to the top of a building. I thought we were going super deep underground for a second there. But no, we were at the top of a tower. And apparently I've made a mistake by, ah, uh, we'll wait to the end of the elevator. I thought I was making a mistake before when I rode an elevator, and then right after that, it's like, oh, new waypoint. Basically, you just don't want to worry about waypoints while you're on an elevator. Hello? Shiny texture. Oh, hey, Piper. I didn't even realize you were with us. Were you, were you with us, or did teleporting make you show up again? Are you gonna question the, are you gonna question the fact that Piper is here? here, here. Allie? Oh, oh, shit. Surprise! Got him. Oh. This thing really fucks up my line of sight. I guess I'll shoot past- Oh, there we go. I guess I don't have to worry about stealth if they're all shooting at us simultaneously. Where's bad guys? There's a bad guy. Pew. At this point, there's so many directions enemies can be in. It makes sense just to use this for the sake of, uh, being able to see them. Oopsie. Anyone else? Hello. Torso. Pew. Torso. Oh, I'm out of AP. Whoops. There we go. Good job, Piper. You get all that murder. Murder in your veins. Sorry, Sergeant. You're dead now. Stimpak. They're really trying to have a crazy action moment, aren't they? Oh! Excuse me. Oh, we just fell. Oh! Hello. Critical strike. There we go. Got him. Thank goodness for banked criticals. I can carry something if you need me to. Hello, tag. Don't really feel like grabbing all their nonsense, but I'll definitely stock up on their ammo. I guess I'm not turning in technical documents anytime soon, now that I'm an enemy of the uh, organization. Are we all ratty in here? No. Ooh, mass fusions. Oh, damn it. Mass fusion lab key. I was really thinking for a moment there that it would be. Well, I can't open that unless I get a code. For a moment there, I thought it was going to be a bobblehead. I haven't seen one of those for a while now. Oh, a technical document. Woe is me. They are no longer useful. I don't think they weigh anything, though, so why not pick them up for, you know, just regardless? A lot of copies of the same power armor everywhere. At some point, I just got tired of picking it up anymore because power armor is obnoxiously heavy. So it almost invo always involves getting super encumbered and having a bad day. And it's mostly just copies of the same thing I already had. Gas canisters. Let's see, product development. Intermail. Intermail. You're a miracle worker, Kathy. The graphene composite shielding was the last component holding us back from getting the agitator online, and you got it done in less than a week. I don't know how I could have done it without you. 
Another job well done. Keep this up and you'll be in development lead in no time. Kathy, would it be possible to get a full sheet of your composite alloy within the last week? Carl's pressuring me to get the Burly Magitator online by the end of the month, or heads are going to roll. If you run into any problems, let me know. Oh, we're going backwards through time. Whoops. Kathy, I just want to let you know that your work with the Agitator has been invaluable. The shielding has always been a problem, but the, the use of graphene in the alloy was a stroke of genius. I just wanted to let you know that I'll be recommending you for promotion this year. Good work. Yeah, those are prog those are pro progressing further and further in back in time. Though they kind of all said the same thing, weirdly enough, about the graphene. Apparently the graphene is very important. What's over there? Oh, kind of thought I saw a bubble head. I guess we'll get a closer look. Cigars. Ooh, Tesla science. Yes. Oh. Yep, yeah, bonus crit damage with energy weapons. Those things I don't use, but hey, passive... I'm not gonna complain about a bunch of, uh, passive buffs to my character, regardless of context. Unless they give him, like, big head mode or something. Enhanced targeting card. Why not? That's probably worth grabbing. Piper has such a, sh a short time to sit. <laughs> Whenever you go into any environment, she just eventually is like, eh, I'm gonna sit here now. Even in the, when we're just fresh out of a gunfight. Hello, you. Oh, we were so close. There we go. Nice. Ammo. You can keep your generic ass pistol. Or ass pistol. That's a... It's important to specify between there being a space or a hyphen there. Hello. Alright. That's one thing taken care of. Elevator Hello. Power again. We now have elevator power. But we're still trying to find... Yeah, we need to get to the reactor level. Can I use the elevator to do that? Ooh. This piece of corpse has stuff. Why does he have a fishing rod? That's weird, right? So we're trying to go down there. I believe. Can we use elevator? I'll quick save first in case it takes me the wrong way. Going down. Yes, good. Okay. Just a little further. I think we found the easy way down. Bad guys? This looks like a place where a gunfight happens. Yep, yeah, there it is. Something's out there. Sure is. You. My arm. Oh, he mutated. Could you stop that? Ow, rude. Okay, now you're just being rude. Don't appreciate this behavior. Keep their heads down. There we go. Rapid fire. Fixes all problems. Buddy. 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 You're not getting back up. Or well, you might, but you're gonna die. Bye. Where are you? There's someone over there. Hello. Why are the... Nothing makes the Brotherhood of Steel look great like a bunch of people with mohawks. There we go. We clean? Laser turret, huh? Don't need any of that around. Are you still... It's not taking any damage. I guess it doesn't exist until it gets deployed. Alright. She, she, she refuses to sneak, so I guess it's not worth trying. She just st stands upright like an idiot from the Institute would. I don't know how to survive in the overworld. You're gonna have to protect me. Thankfully, she's probably invulnerable. Which is a step up from some games where she would just immediately get murdered in a lot of games, and that would be a bad time. Because there's only so much you can do for stupid. Hello, you? So many hall tags. Dr. Fillmore. Well, is No, not you. One? You. Company Intramail. All employees are invited to a the 2077 holiday celebration. We'll be holding the festivities on the roof of our main headquarters this year, so you'll be able to dine with a loved one while overlooking our beautiful city. A full bar and live music will be on hand as well as a special fireworks display at 10 p.m. Hope to see you there. Attentional employees, due to the unfortunate sit-in protest in the main lobby by members of the public, 
New security measures are being implemented immediately. Please be sure to carry your ID card with you at all times and stay within your designated areas. Do not exit the building using any door other than those designated as standard exits. Do not provide anyone with your login passwords or use your terminal. Any deviation from these restrictions will result in an immediate termination of your position at Mass Fusion. They had bad times because of what they made here. The Mass Fusion employee store is open. Order your very own Mass Fusion branded hats, shirts, sh uh, shorts, swimsuits, umbrellas, neckties, cufflinks, socks, tumblers, shot glasses, coffee mugs, and more. Please see Eric Roanoke in HR for details. Yeah. Look, we have all this merch. Everyone look at us. Oh no, everyone's mad at us now. What could have ever foreseen the- Ooh. What was that? I'm just gonna go on with my life now. Bye. Another elevator. Spending a lot of time around those, huh? I'm sure she'll teleport. Oh yeah, I can pickpocket her apparently right now. Is she inside me? There you guys are. Hola. See, Piper knows how to sneak. She's so sneaky, I can't tell where she is half the time because she just disappears from my game. <laughs> bad guys. Reactor. Not a bad piece of work for its time. Not to rush, but I'd love to get out of here before my hair starts falling out. Oh, it's okay, Piper. You're already dying of cancer. You live in Fallout. So I hate to break it to you, but rads be everywhere. Like, everywhere. Nonsense stuff. Overdue book. Why not? Attendance terminal. None of that's happening right now. Hats and nonsense. Another hazmat suit. I don't think I need to collect more of those. They're heavy and I have several of them at this point. But the first time I found one, it was a big deal. First aid. Cool. That's the. Yep, that's all good news. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Pressing forward. Hey everyone. Battered clipboard. Little dark around here. Don't see much going on around here. I guess we can just proceed. Gotta keep an out. I wanna keep an out for bobbleheads. Because I figured the main story is where they're gonna hide a fair chunk of them. At least, at least some of them, right? Reactor control terminal. What if I just detonate it right here? <laughs> oh, there's a lot more here. Warning, critical levels of radiation have been detected in the reactor chamber. Please take appropriate safety precautions. Let's go forward in time for once, because I keep going backwards on accident. Uh, today we embark on a new frontier. One, once we switch the... Once the switch on the reactor is thrown, the beryllium agitator cold uh, starts the fusion reaction. The reality of clean power nuclear energy will be upon us all. And the research led, as the research led on the project, uh, lead on the project, I'd like to thank you all for contributing to the cause. Good luck and Godspeed. Gander draws his demon bane blade from its scabbard and waits for Tamash's in incantation to take effect. He carefully watches the room for any signs of movement. Are they doing a, d a role playing session on this computer? Gandar's heed shadow fiend's warning and attempts to sidestep the attack he's expecting. At the same time, he takes the a mighty swing with his blade. Looks like I got an 18, not bad. It's the same one. Gander backs off from the creature, realizing that the Hellspawn is made of pure magic and his weapons would be useless. My friends, magic is the only thing that can stop this creature of darkness. He kneels down and says a quick prayer to Bashlar, god of god of steel. They're doing a straight up role playing session on these computers while they while they're working, basically, communicating with one of the other terminals that's also doing this. Hopefully, with one of the other terminals, it'll be very depressing if there wasn't somebody else. On a separate I terminal, so talking back. Rad X, another hazmat suit. Well, if I ever want another hazmat suit, I know where to find them. There's several of them in here. Well, that didn't work out. Try it. Nope. Here we. Nope. 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 Okay. Somewhere over there. We're very close. We'll start here. Oh. <laughs> 
I was like, I was about to be careful and slowly feel it out from that starting point, and it was, I nailed it immediately. That's in better shape than I expected. Analyst terminal. That's probably where the other role-playing session's happening. Whoa, what is my character doing? That was a weird moment. Haven. Uh... H-A-V-E-N, H-A-V-E-N. So it starts with an H, probably. H-A-V-E-N, H... Here's no. Is there another... There is another... There's no other, other, other H's there. I don't think there is. H-A-V-E-N, H-E-A-R-S, no. H-A-V-E-N, two. H A V E N H A nope no V E N right. H E A yeah that's the one that doesn't work cuz it's too many with here's H A V E N H A V E N H E A yeah demon no okay H A V E N H E A well the first one's already wrong H A V E N 1 H E A R S one D E M O N zero. I'm through. There we go. Protectron control. Why not? Personality mode police. Law enforcement. Activate unit. You have fun. All right. Today we embark on a new frontier. Is this the other side of the role-playing? After dispatching the goblins, you enter a large chamber. The room is moist, dark, and reeks of awful. Shadow Fiend, you feel as though a thousand eyes are staring at you from the darkness, but your dark vision reveals nothing. Gandar, you notice that the sword is giving off a faint shimmer. Tamash, your spirit guardian whispers words of warning as uh, to you that something otherworldly is here. So this is the, this is the interesting perspective as the DM. Tamash, something is preventing your summoning ritual from completing. All you feel is the cold touch of something dark and primeval creeping up your spine. You decide that rather than risk angering it further, you should cease casting. Shadow Fiend, you think you see something slithering across the ceiling above Gandar. Shadow Fiend, your daggers harmlessly strike the cold stone of the ceiling as they seemly, seemingly pass through the shadow, serpent-like form. Tamash, your staff would normally fill the chamber with pure sunlight, but something is preventing the magic from reaching its full potential. All of you, all you can manage is uh, enough light to barely illuminate the room. Gandar, your sword cleaves air as your blade passes through the enemy unharmed. Up. Hello, hello, new friend. So I'll pro I can probably skip the other perspective. The uh, most interesting perspective is going to be the DM for that one, but ultimately, there's not only get so much you can get from the context of that hello button now cycling airlock please oh. wait initiating no sequence. no it's a good thing i just saved cuz i made a mistake uh right i should be wearing i should really be wearing radiation <laughs> gear before i walk in there here we go hazmat suit I realized I realized my level of stupid the exact moment I pressed the button. I'm like, oh god, I'm not wearing a hazmat suit. This is exactly why they're all around the room. Now cycling airlock. Please wait. Initiating decontamination sequence. Decontamination complete. You may proceed. And in we go. Hello. The thing we're looking for, the agitator. It should be in a port at the top of the reactor. Good, because the bottom looks messed up at the moment. There it is. Let's check around here real quick. Is there a uh did they stash something here? No. Nope. Just want to check really quick for a uh bubblehead. It's mine, the Brilliant Agitator. 
I'm... Security alert in the reactor chamber. Emergency lock. Oh goodness. Intruder. Identify your well, that fucking hurt. Let's zoom in real quick. Quickly. Save time through the power of that perspective. Please die. There it goes. Well, that was a really slow bullet. As in, I mean, I mean, they really slowed it down more than I would expect them to. We good? No. So, nope, something's still attacking me. People are shouting things. Oh, they're fighting out there. Oh, oh, they're fighting the Protectron that I summoned. I, I think they're gone. It apparently turned on us. Rude. Do I have to go down this way? Let's see. I'll try, I'll try the door, but I might have to escape some other direction at this point. Nope, maybe not. Please wait. Yeah. Oh, cool. It immediately takes care of all your radiation. That's not bad. I very rarely have to use Rataway anymore. I've, I've been keeping low for a while. Uh-oh. Bad things. Bad things are coming our way. Oh yeah. That's gonna be like some sort of giant kill bot. Uh, there he is. Oh Jesus, that damage. Okay, that's bad. Jesus Christ. You doing enough damage yet? Holy crap. That was excessive. That thing just charges you. Where, where's... Oh, that, that's probably not helping me. <laughs> Stealing lasers are probably not helping. Oh, Allie's almost dead. Oh, they're dead, actually. It's just that she doesn't actually die. Hey, everyone. We good? I think fight's over. You're getting back up. Yeah. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay. You have enough robots around? I don't really appreciate this. Bad touch, bad touch, bad touch. Come on, how do I get off here? Oh god damn it, I can't move. They can just pin me like that? Holy crap, this is way more than I thought we were going to get ourselves into. I don't want to work for you guys anymore. Jesus. Stop it. This is silly. This is the worst organization. You don't even pay me for, like, health insurance. I'm not, you're not, see, the thing is, you never have to worry about paying me anything or actually letting making me the leader of this place because you're going to get me killed. That's your dark scheme here. I see what's going on here. There's the other terminal that's going to have more D&D &D talk, I'm sure. No security system control. Disable. Currently active. Local overrides have been disabled to prevent authority, unauth unauthorized access. Well, that didn't amount to much. So you check the other bodies real quick for some items. That's all decent. Thank you. They turned the freaking Assaultron on me. Should have just killed it from the get-go, anticipating that, but I didn't. <laughs> Give some music to this empty-ass room we're gonna leave. A damaged hazmat suit. I like that it specifies that, just so you know that if you wear that suit, you're gonna be in trouble. Let's put normal gear on. There we go. Now I won't be running around taking extra damage from a lack of armor, at least. Let's get out of here. Let us get out of here. Probably gonna get attacked again. Nothing stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. Oh, that's not a way out. None of this really is. Oh, laser. Bad. I guess he didn't see me because I was sneaking. It's probably one of these in like every room. Uh oh. We're gonna have some mess here, aren't we? When did it get so quiet? Uh, headshot. Bonus damage from stealth. Nope, not exactly. Oh. Quickly. Down, 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 down. Nope, get, you guys are in my way. Alright, fine, you guys shoot him. You guys don't understand how, like, firing lines work, do you? They're, like, they're all like, you know what sounds like fun? Standing directly in the line of fire. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade Charisma again. 
So I'm really tired of failing those checks. So let's just, let's just max it out. Screw it. See how they how they like me then. Anyone else? I think we're good to go. Quickly, class. Going to get us in trouble. All right, no one's in here. These guys just don't know when they're beaten, do they? We can't let them box us in. I'll help the synths buy some time. Make sure you get back to the Institute with the agitator. You'll help the synths buy some time. What does that mean? You're not a soldier, really, are you? Are you just, are you just gonna go up and die here? I wonder if I had the option to just straight up execute her at some point. Like if I could have gotten away with that. A laser turret. No, no more of that, please. Uh, it's not active yet, so I can't hurt it. You're on our team, right? Oh yeah, you're all teleporting in. Why couldn't? You, why couldn't? Why couldn't we have started this way? Fuck me! Bye. <laughs> kind of wonder why we couldn't just teleport in a horde of uh, synths from the get-go. Anyway, how much long? I, I, I should talk to these these contacts in the. Railroad and try to figure out how much longer they expect me to to still not uh They want me to go for a shockingly long time without uh without actually revolting at some point I'm just gonna help them complete all their plans and we're still gonna still, still gonna be like keep helping father ha 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 We'll see how that goes Anyway guys after that big mess we're back in the Institute I'm Gonna go ahead and cut it here So thanks for watching like always and I'll see you next time where we'll deal with the Aftermath of what happened in there.